artist? Do you make 3D art? Do you make art that's too big to be represented on a cell phone screen? You can make a web-based AR gallery to show off your work at scale for free and be able to do it without having to install an app. First, we have to make the model. Then we have to put that in a wrapper. Then we have to host that wrapper somewhere. So first, let's hop into Blender. If you paint, draw, or print, or sketch, or whatever, you'll have your art in a 2D format. Blender is gonna help us arrange our two-dimensional art in a three-dimensional context. First, we gotta go into Preferences, Add-ons, Search Images, and then enable Import Images as Planes. Close that window, go back to File, and then Import, and then there should be an option that says Images as Planes. Select any number of images that you want to bring into your scene, and then they'll show up here. The average human is between 1.6 meters tall and 1.8 meters tall, and the default cube in Blender is two meters tall. So what we're gonna do is gonna click on the default cube, hit tab to go into edit mode, hit A to select all the geometry, G to grab it and move it, and then hit Z to lock it to the up and down axis, and then type one to move it up one unit, one meter. On the right edge of your viewport, there's gonna be an item tab, and underneath that, you'll look underneath transform, and go down to dimensions, and then you'll input how tall your expected viewer will be. So now that you have a reference and now you have all your art, you can select your art by clicking on it and then hit G to grab it and move it to where you want it to be in your free floating space gallery. Space! So just click on a piece of work, hit G to grab it, and then if you want it to just move up and down, hit Z to lock it to that axis, and then left click to finalize the move, and then you can hit G and then X to lock it to the X axis or Y to lock it to the Y axis. And that can let you move it up, left, right. You can also rotate it around in a circle by hitting R and then Z to lock the rotation axis to the vertical axis Z and then hitting 90 to rotate it like 90 degrees, negative 90, or by just moving your mouse back and forth and left click to finalize. Once you've got everything just the way you like it, hold shift and left click all the pieces of art that you want to include then go to File, Export, GLTF. Then over on the right-hand side of there, there's a little drop-down that says Include, and you wanna check Selected Objects. Also under Format, you wanna make sure that GLTF binary is selected, in parentheses, .glb, and that packs all your texture data and all your hard work into this one file, so it's super portable, it's great. All right, champ, you made it to phase two. Now we get to go to modelviewer.dev. Scroll down to where it says Getting Started Editor. Click and drag your GLB file over to the pane on the left or use the little blue button on the right. Upload your file and then download your scene, your package, and download your poster. You just made the website. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. Now we're gonna move on to phase three. That was real quick. Head on over to glitch.com. If you don't have an account, make one. New project, find more. Scroll down to where it says blank website. Hit that. First, in the top left, go to Settings, and then Edit Project Details. Get a new name. You don't need a three random word name for your website. Unless it's cool, or you like it, or whatever. Then you just keep it, I guess. Where it says Files over on the left, there's a bunch of files underneath that. I need you to go click on each one. Go to the three-dot menu and hit Delete. You're deleting every file in this project. Because you already have your whole project. You got it from that other website. So now go to your downloads folder, unpack that zip file, and one by one upload the files in there to this glitch project. Some of the files in that folder are text documents, so they're going to go underneath files. The other ones are going to go underneath assets. We're going to need to fix all the references that the text files make to those other assets. Don't worry, this is the most boring part and it's almost over. You just got to do it four times. So for each reference first, click on Assets, then go to poster.webp, copy URL button in the lower left-hand corner, hit copy URL, go back to your index.html, hit Control F, search for webp, then hit the little down chevron. It'll find where the in your code there is a reference to a webp. You're gonna take that little piece of text in between the quotation marks, and you're gonna replace it with this behemoth of a URL that Glitch has given you. That's a fixed reference. Boom, pow. You just got to do that three more times with the other two images and your 3D model. Assets, click on icon, click on copy URL, go back to your index.html, control F to search, do a search for icon, find the little piece of text in between the quotation marks, select that, hit control V, paste in the gargantuan URL, repeat for your AR hand prompt and whatever you named your 3D model. On Glitch, there's a little preview magnifying glass in the lower left-hand corner. If you click on that and hit Open Preview Pane, you can see what your website's gonna look like on a flat-screen device. If you uh, hit 
preview and open in a new tab, you can go to that URL on your cell phone and then there should be an AR button that you can just press and place this 3D model down in the world. And if you're on an iPhone or an iPad, something that has a LiDAR sensor in it, you should it should do object occlusion for you so you can place this thing and then it goes behind your coffee table when stuff gets in front of it. That's a huge deal, I love that. Now you've made an AR gallery that you can see online for free that you own. Nobody owns this, Adobe doesn't own this. No no art platform owns your art and you can take this code and you can move it somewhere else, host it yourself. Plus it's a tiny URL and there's no app install necessary. So you can make this URL embedded in a QR code or in an NFC tag and people just wave their phone near it and they get to see your art in three dimensions. How wild is that? <laughs>